And while it does look really beautiful out there, as we turn our attention now to Fox 35, Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner. Brooks, let me tell you something. The weather that we're going to be experiencing, not yeah. us, but that Grenada and some of these mm -hmm. other islands, Barbados, it is just going to be just terrible with Hurricane Barrel. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, conditions right now are deteriorating with every passing minute as this Category 3, soon to be Category 4 hurricane barrels toward the Windward Islands between Grenada and St. Vincent, including the Grenadines. So this is uh, this is a big dog system, and this is the first time this far east such a powerful hurricane has formed during the month of June. Here we are on July the first. This thing was a Cat Four yesterday, so this is historic in that sense. And unfortunately, it's historic in the damage it's likely to do as it moves through these islands. By the way, it'll continue moving through the Caribbean, weakening as it does so, but still a formative system, formidable system. It'll be south of Jamaica on Wednesday with winds over 100 miles an hour, then move through the Caymans Wednesday with winds of around 100 miles per hour and then eventually on to Belize and also Playa del Carmen over there in Mexico. Um, so it's not just barrel right now. We've also got a tropical storm making landfall near Veracruz. Chris, that is mostly a rainmaker, but on the horizon, a new tropical wave has a 70% chance of becoming Debbie in the next week. So what is keeping all of these hurricanes away from us? Well, thankfully, it's the same force that's keeping it so hot here this week, and that is a big area of upper level high pressure that is is quite literally shielding us, steering these storms to our south. Now, if barrel becomes stronger than forecast as it moves to the Caribbean, it could go a little bit farther north, but that should still stay south of our area. Now, the NOAA hurricane hunters are in flight right now, cutting through the storm, flying around, getting samples. And with this information, the National Hurricane Center, when their eight o'clock advisory comes out, will have updates on strength and location, all that stuff. Here's a live view out of St. Lucia right now. Uh, things there are looking okay. It's cloudy, it's kind of rainy, but the worst of the hurricane is far from that area. That's the closest cam I've got right now. Uh, Tropical winds, let's talk about it as we head through noon. That's when the worst of it will start to impact St. Vincent right here and the Grenadines just to the south. After that, it moves onward into the open Caribbean. It'll encounter some wind shear, so that should start to weaken the system a little bit as it approaches Jamaica on Wednesday night around Kingston, but there still could be winds over 100 miles an hour. From there, it moves through Grand Cayman and then continues westward into the Cancun, Cozumel, Playa del Carmen area down through Belize. So if you have any vacation plans, cruises, keep Keep that in mind this week. A look at the wind shear. The red is wind shear. As the system moves west, it will be encountering wind shear. That's going to be the force that keeps it a little weaker as it moves into the Western Caribbean, which is good news for areas impacted there, if there is good news out of this. Um, let's look at Tropical Storm Chris. This is one that formed overnight. It was Tropical Depression 3. Yesterday became Chris. It made landfall almost immediately. It's a rainmaker, and it's another name on the list. We've had Alberto, currently a barrel, and Chris. Debbie is next.